What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. Marvel Studios has been putting off several projects that are supposed to be released soon, but are now months or years away. Because, while the latter release might currently seem secure, these days will probably have a dominant effect and push the 2024 and 2025 releases back even further. Moreover, four of Marvel Studios' 2023 Phase 5 movies appear to have been pushed back into the following year rather than this one, but this could be a positive development for the MCU as a whole. But that hasn't been the end of the troubles, as behind the scenes difficulties have continued to plague the franchise, in part caused by the massive increase in content output overwhelming VFX houses. And now, Alex B of the Cosmic Circus has entered at another major delay. But before we go into all of these exciting details, guys, we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. So, Alex B of the Cosmic Circus tweeted that Marvel Studios is taking spring cleaning very seriously, except for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Pose had a picture of the entire Phase 5 slate. This pose led us to believe that there may be delays for the upcoming Marvel Studio films, which is scheduled to hit theaters. Then, there was a follow-up tweet to which someone questioned Alex why something had been pushed back now. I am completely unable to list due to the character limit. I would find it simpler to state what won't be pushed back. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, this strongly suggests that the report is accurate. Honestly, this doesn't come as a surprise at all because even Echo was delayed, apparently moving it from its original summer of 2023 window to an early 2024 one. This was the show just that the Daredevil Born Again, which seems Echo will relate to it directly. And what if, the second season, the show has been completely absent from all Disney Plus and Marvel Studios 2023 promotion, despite officially moving its season 2 debut from late 2022 to early 2023. Now, it appears that the show has been delayed once more, this time to 2024. The premiere of Agatha, Coven of Chaos, has reportedly been postponed until after Daredevil Born Again, which may seem surprising given that the production recently started. And of course, Marasha Harley's Blade shifted from November 2023 to October of 2024. Deadpool 3 and the Fantastic Four were also postponed from their initial 2024 release date at the same time. However, neither was fully included in Phase 5. While Marvel's first family revival jumped from November 2024 to February of 2025. Then, Red Riddle's threequel was moved from September to November of 2024. Ironheart was once scheduled to launch on Disney Plus in autumn of 2023 following Black Panther Wakanda Forever. However, The Hollywood Reporter has now reported that it may be pushed back to early 2024. And most recently, Marvel confirmed the delay of the Marvels from July 28th to November 10th, and it's highly unlikely that it will be the last. Additionally, Avengers The Kang Dynasty will likely be delayed by Marvel as well because the Multiverse Saga, which is now happening in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, may end up extending into 2027 or 2028. Now, Marvel Studio only plans to go as far as 2026, which is when Multiverse Saga is meant to come to a close with the May 1st, 2026 release of Avengers Secret Wars. Nevertheless, if the most recent reports are to be believed, this might also not be the case. Yet, we hear who remains, and the variation who appears in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will be seeing a lot more of Kang in the MCU. And again, Alex Perez of the Cosmic Circles believe that there's a very minimal chance that Avengers the Kang Dynasty will release on May 2nd, 2025, suggesting that a postponement announcement is about to be made. Quantumania did a fantastic job of establishing exactly how frightening the Council of Kangs can be in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Keep in mind that Marvel must make room for the individual premieres of its TV shows as well, which has been scaled back to prioritize quality. Marvel's decision to extend the Multiverse Saga makes sense to make room for additional shows and films, both confirmed and undisclosed. Also, there's a VFX artist issue. Marvel has recently come under fire for its subpar VFX work. The VFX artists, both internal and external, require a break in between the shows and films that Marvel is releasing. But this might cause the Kang Dynasty to lose its current May 2025 release date and move up to 2026, delaying Secret Wars in the process. Marvel Studios was essentially be extending the Multiverse Saga in this way, giving it more breathing room, more time for development, and better road to Avengers 5. Recently, speculations however claimed that Marvel Studios is in a very, very early conversations about dividing Secret Wars into two films and maybe extending current till into Phase 7, 
which was previously anticipated to start the next saga. But some fans may find it distressing to consider having waited this long to witness Earth Mightiest Heroes Battle Kang in Avengers 5. But for the Multiverse Saga's culmination to meet the absurdly high standard set by Thanos and the Infinity Saga, delays and slate modifications may be required. The bright side to all of this is that Avengers The Kang Dynasty may not turn out to be the middle installment of the Multiverse Saga. For now, viewers can anticipate Secret Invasion's Disney Plus debut and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3's May 5th release. Anyways, it does look like the X-Men and the Fantastic Four won't be featured in the upcoming superhero team-up movie, Avengers The Kang Dynasty. According to Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania writer Jeff Loveness, who also revealed some information about this upcoming MCU venture, the Fantastic Four will be released a few months before Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Will it be its own thing, according to Loveness, in an interview with ComicBook.com? Fantastic Four is coming in Phase 6 as we all know it, while the X-Men remain undated outside of Deadpool 3. With Kang and his infinite number of variants set to wreak havoc in the MCU, Marvel will need all of its heroes to defeat the powerful villain. And Jeff Loveness, the writer of Avengers The Kang Dynasty, revealed via Phase Zero podcast, if he believes the Fantastic Four and X-Men will be in the film, he says, and I quote, No, I think all that stuff is pretty far away, Loveness said. I know they're making Fantastic Four, but that thing is its own thing. I mean, look, I'm the biggest X-Men guy in the world. No, I think that's been saved for a bit. But these Avengers are in trouble. They got a lot going with Kang. They got more than enough to handle. End of quote. The Fantastic Four's first MCU standalone adventure is presently stated for release on February 14th of 2025, followed by Avengers The Kang Dynasty on May 2nd of same 2025. Therefore, after meeting the superhero family, we discover that they are completely silent about Kang the Conqueror Multiverse Wide Minute. If Kang ancestry and relationship with Fantastic Four leader, Reed Richard, often known as Mr. Fantastic, are maintained by the MCU, the confusion as to why they may not be included becomes more peculiar. Unless, of course, they are simply saving everything for Avengers Secret Wars. Despite the lack of much information on Avengers Kang Dynasty, Jeff Loveness has unveiled one new character that will appear. The enemy in Black Panther Wakanda Forever is Neymar the Submariner. The writer expressed excitement about writing Neymar and the underwater rule as added up for the upcoming Avengers film. Well, all I can say is, Marvel's Studios is supposedly taking steps to assure quality control going into Phase 5 and 6 of the MCU. These moves will guarantee more time can be devoted to this postponed project and those that have now more breathing rooms as a result of the delay can make their adjacent releases. The additional months should result in a better production and can only be advantageous from a writing, production and visual effects perspective. Additionally, since the conclusion of the Infinity Saga, the MCU has expanded from these film releases over the year to at least six projects spread across the big screen and Disney+. Plus. No doubt, as a result, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has recently been less active in some elements of production. This will allow for more stories that involve the Conqueror and prepare the audiences for his arrival, just like in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and Loki have done in addition to giving fans some more time for these new heroes, which will be necessary once the conflict against Kang puts them in real danger. And back to the giveaway. We're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel, to one very lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers and all you have to do to win is watch our videos subscribe turn on post notification like and comment and one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new playstation 5. also i want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far we truly appreciate it what are your thoughts on this video and do you think that these delays are necessary though please don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.